welcome to Down to Earth. Our question this week is another great one from one of our viewers, and it, he wants to identify the weed in the photo that he sent us. It's a great photo of a really bad plant. The plant is Smilax bononox, and it's a very noxious plant, very common in areas near green belts. So if your property or your home backs up to a green belt area where plants are left naturally, there are natural trees and vegetation growing, then you may have this in the back of your garden or wherever your garden abuts this greenbelt area. I have a really big problem with this in my yard because I do have a greenbelt area behind my backyard and it is very difficult to treat unfortunately. There are a few chemical treatments that you can use but they don't work well. To use those you need to use a combo of glyphosate and triclopyr. You want to cut the plant to the ground and then paint the cut surface immediately. You will have to do this numerous times to get rid of the plant. But the best way is just to use some good old fashioned muscle. You want to wet the soil and use a very sturdy trowel or a shovel and dig very deep to get the entirety of this plant out of the ground. It does have a lot of stored carbohydrates in its root system, so you really do need to get all of that plant out and you'll have to fight it for a while because it will come back in from that green belt area. Our plant this week is Blackfoot Daisy, Melampodium leucanthum. It's a wonderful Central Texas native. It's another short, slowly creeping perennial that looks great planted in little pockets in your garden or in the front of your garden beds or even in containers. It loves full sun, but it's also great in some light shade. It gets about six to 12 inches tall and about the same wide. It's covered with precious little white flowers with yellow centers. It does bloom from early spring all the way through mid to late summer. It does self sow easily, but it's not invasive. It's challenging to deadhead, so getting rid of those seed heads and keeping it from self sowing is very challenging. It's extremely water efficient, so it needs well drained soil to grow healthy. It's tolerant of strongly alkaline soils, which we have commonly here. And it's also, again, great for rocky areas and used with ex other extremely low water use plants. It's also hardy to well below zero and said to be deer resistant, which makes it a great plant for our area. Also, when we have very harsh winters as we did this last year. To do in your garden this month, it's time to start pumpkin seeds. If you want those pumpkins to be ripe and great for you this fall for your Halloween, you want to go ahead and put those seeds in the garden now. Those are very large seeds, so they're very easy to plant in the garden and have them grow from seeds rather than starting them indoors. We'd love to hear from you, so visit klru.org ctg to send us your question or plant of the week from your garden.